Welcome to Unfortunate Lighting. My name is Liz. Today I'm going to do the reader problems tag because I like tags with reading dilemmas. Question 1. You have 20,000 books on your TBR. Yikes. How in the world do you decide what to read next? Either go to the very beginning of the TBR or a book that's on hold at the library that's not available or a book that I own would probably be my three places I would go first. Number two, you're halfway through a book and you're just not loving it. Do you quit or are you committed? If I'm halfway, I'm usually committed. I usually will finish books even if I don't like them, just so I know I for sure don't like them. Number three, the end of the year is coming and you're so close but so far away on your Goodreads reading challenge. Do you try to catch up and how? I'd say in recent years, I would just give up and say, hey, I already read this amount of books that's really good for being in school. Um, maybe that will change when I'm more free around the end of the year times, but in the past few years it's just been too hectic. Number four, the covers of a series you love do not match. How do you cope? This definitely is a bummer, but because I've been getting most of my books from the library and only buying them if I really, really like them at this point in my life, I haven't thought about that that much and it hasn't really happened to me yet, so I, I'll get back to you. Number five, everyone and their mother loves a book you really don't like. Who do you bond with over shared feeling? I don't know if it's one particular person, but I probably just get on the internet and like find that one other good read review that agrees with me. Number six, you're reading a book and you're about to start crying in public. How do you deal? I will close that book and like think of something else. Number seven, a sequel of a book you love just came out, but you've forgotten a lot from the prior novel. Will you reread the book? Skip the sequel? Try to find a synopsis on Goodreads, crime frustration. Depending on the length of the first book, I would reread it or I would go online and find a synopsis if the book is too long or I just don't have time and I just want to read the second book. Number eight, you do not want anyone, anyone borrowing your books. How do you politely tell people nope when they ask? I actually don't mind people borrowing my books because I, for the most part, trust people and if they really ruined it, I could just buy another one. But I would just tell them I don't have that book because not a lot of people would come into my room and see my book. Number nine, reading ADD. You picked up and put down five books in the last month. How'd you get over your reading slump? I would just keep going and eventually just find a book that I like and just not freak out about it. I think if you overreact and start making a huge deal, then it's going to become a bigger deal. Number 10, there are so many new books coming out that you're dying to read. How many do you actually buy? Probably only books that I'm like really, really, really excited about and or um, if I can get them from the library, then I won't buy them before I read them. I will only buy them after I read so I know I really like them. So maybe any that I can't get from the library or it's like a ridiculously long wait at the library. Number 11, after you bought the new books you can't wait to get to, how long do they sit on your shelf before you get to them? Probably if I buy a lot of time, a few months. Especially now, my fun reading has slowed down a lot. But hopefully that will change soon. Hopefully. That is the reading problems tag. Kayla and Jesse, you should do this. Anyone else watching, if you haven't done this, you should do this. It was a fun one with fun scenarios. Bye!